welcome to lesson 22. In this episode, I want to show you how to add new materials to the material database. So for instance, you're um, assigning materials to this uh, cabinet here, and uh, you have a new front, a new material for the front. So you can go into part properties, and select the part. Then, uh, for instance, here we got our general uh, generic material of external one. If you wanna, you can normally overwrite this. It's not a problem for a one-off. But if you wanna add it to the database, the one here, you can now uh, press Add Materials. It gives you access to the Material Manager. So it's an 18 millimeter board, and you wanna add this uh, just at the end of all your generic materials here. You press on the spot where you wanna add it to. You click on New Materials. And now you want to have a 18 millimeter walnut grain board. So now it has added it exactly on that spot here. So you got it after the generic materials. This is your material now. You can say this is at the moment only on the current session, so you can save this to a file, to the actual uh, database. So you can use this now. And that's basically how you add a, a new material, and now it's uh, permanently saved in the database. Also in global settings, you've got access to it as well. You go into materials, and you can now uh, uh, edit it so you can either uh, change the name so I say oh, you don't want the grain name delete this so it has changed now to to walnut just walnut or you can delete it you click at it delete material save the file and it's gone <laughs> You can use this feature to sort your uh, material uh, database. So in case you're not happy with this, you can delete some of those. You may not need them and compact your database a little bit for only materials that you need. And you can add new ones and uh, you can basically just rearrange them just by clicking at the spot where you want the new one and add it to it. You can also copy and paste materials and uh, move them to other places. For instance, your 12 millimeter any material, you can uh, copy this, Control C, and you want to move it, let's say, to the very top here. Control V, and now it's copied to the to the very top here. So you can basically rearrange your uh, whole database that way. Also, don't forget to uh, click Save to File. So that's basically that's all to the new material editor.